All right. So we're here with Damian Aviva to talk about quantitative finance research with Python, statistical arbitrage. Could you give us a layman's overview of what you do, sir? Hi. Well, uh, I want to show you uh, some things, some, some uh, things that I am working on. Uh, the final aim of this poster. Into the, into the mic, you're going. Okay. Up. Yeah, sorry. The final aim of this poster is to show you that we can use Python like a quasi complete environment to do financial time series uh, and this kind of uh, research. So, um, but what is a financial time series? You have here one is a, se a sequence of data points measured typically as successive time instants and uniform intervals. And you can see that the time series go up and down. It's difficult to forecast what is going. And if you take the returns of this time series, you uh, get this kind of time series that is stationary. It's stationary because it is fluctuate around a fixed level. This type of time series is easy to forecast, and this is not. So. We can uh, use a concept that is interesting, the concept of co-integration, that, that uh, uh, is interesting because if you have two time series like that, yeah, and uh, there is a linear combination between them, the, between them that it's stationary, you can construct or build a portfolio of this uh, assets and uh, get entry points because it's, it, it's easy to forecast uh, because it's fluctuate around a fixed level. Yeah. So uh, to implement this pair, pair trading strategy, we use uh, some tool of uh, Python <laughs> community. Yeah. First, I use uh, IPAN to no notebook because it's the best the best tool for inter inter uh, scientific computing and we use matplotlib for figures yeah and numpy and sizepeed and a stat model for uh, statistical measures and pandas uh, to uh, get and transform the, the data so here i take a ypf assess and I, uh, we plot it uh, in the price and in the returns. And here we plot to assess YPF and PCI. Yeah, we uh, can check if there is a co-integration between them. And when uh, regress one and another the other, we can see that the spread, that the residual are stationary. So we can build this portfolio. Yeah, that is. Uh, that that is stationary around a fixed level that is trending yeah so we did trend to get this in the model we have points to entry and get money when it's reversed to the mean yeah but this is with data that uh, we have collected if we use data that the model have not uh, have uh, have not see yeah sorry for the english you can see that the model has predictive power because this data is not present in the model and you can see the same behavior. Yeah, And uh, this is an easy example of how to use uh, Python to do financial time series and to get a trading system that uh, maybe is profitable uh, in the future. Thanks. Very good. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the time.